Leva Legacy Roundtables are designed to bring the conversation to you. Joining me today are Angie May of Minick May Family Farms and Dr. Jennifer Ryder Fox, Dean for the School of Agriculture at California State University, Chico. Jennifer, Angie, welcome. Why don't we start, Angie, with just a quick thumbnail sketch of your operation and how you and your dad might split up the duties in the operation. Okay. Um, we operate a grain farm in north central Indiana, farm about 6,000 acres of corn and soybeans. Um, we have been, oh, pro over the last decade, really, transitioning um, a lot of the managerial financial managerial roles over to me, whereas Dad had done all those in the past, and he continues um, employee management, uh, equipment operation, that sort of thing. And then uh, my husband also fits in there on more of the, the role that Dad has now, I think. Okay, okay. Now, Jennifer, from your perspective, if we've got a sizable operation today, we've got a willing and, a, and a, obviously a very capable next generation coming up, what do we need to do to grow that operation into its next version? Well, Angie, one of the things that um, I, I wonder about is do you have a business plan? And and because that business plan will force you to look five or maybe even ten years down the road. And I mention that because in education, we're often having to educate for jobs that don't even exist. So do you farm for a crop that doesn't even <laughs> exist at this point? What, what, how, how, how can you do that? We have a lot of records, and we're very specific on our crop plans for the next year, but uh, cash flows and all that, but to go out further than a year, we're pretty fluid, I guess, at that point. <laughs> and no, we do not have a, a long-term, well, even a short-term business plan beyond a year. And so that is something that you've mentioned to me before that I know we do need to mm -hmm. think about so that things are out there on the radar screen and we're able to react quickly. To if take advantage of opportunities. Right. So how do you carve out the time for <laughs> that? And, and in addition to that, your professional development, for you as an individual to grow, to, to, to then become aware of opportunities. I think that network that you develop as you do those professional development things, whether it's belonging to um, a leadership group of some sort or bec becoming involved in community, what, how do you cut that time out and still I do thought you things? could tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess, you know, we just have to make the time. I've done a little bit on the, um, the leadership and, and networking part. I'm involved in a um, executive council for Orlando Lakes Corporation, and so I travel up there and get a little bit of a big picture and, and some networking that way. Probably need to do more local and definitely need to sit down and take the time to do that long-term plan. Like, so what's your contingency plan? Someone is no longer able to be a full partner for some period of time. What do you do? What's your backup? <laughs> Uh, so you're hitting you, you tell me that one. <laughs> you answer that one for me? So we talked about a business plan, professional development. Now you're asking about a contingency plan. But Are all those things that I have to know right now? I think you should be thinking about those kinds of things and work with your dad and your husband as appropriate to say, well, December is a slow month or whatever it is. Right. Um, we're going to have to sit down, Dad, and figure out what we do to plan towards this. And at some point, the transition will be complete. Mm -hmm. and, um, and for you, it to be successful, you will have to have answered, I think, all of those questions. And to be able to take advantage of opportunities as they come along. How do you do that, and how can you make a decision like that? Because sometimes right. you need to do that. Right. And to handle crisis. Well, and that's, that's the contingency. Okay. I mean, I, at least in my mind, is there may be something that happens that you hadn't planned for what's going to be your, what is your operation? You know, mm -hmm. we, we live with earthquake, ki earthquake kits in California. What, what, do we, what is your backup plan if right. you had to do it on your own? So we have a very successful operation. We need to take it to the next level. To do that, maybe we take it to a professional level, which is a business plan, professional development, a real contingency plan. And looking down the road, what's out there that we're not doing now that will help us grow and help us be sustainable mm -hmm. into the future. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, taking the time to try and work with your dad and figure out where that's going, and it's, it's paying attention to market trends, it's reading the, the, the journals in your own right. field, the, the trade journals and so on, attending some of those shows, and networking, really, really important for that networking, mm -hmm. uh, for you, especially for you. 
to be working with, with your peers to see what kinds of things they're doing, paying attention to what they're talking about, and just, just paying attention to the market trends. Mm -hmm. And maybe getting outside your own industry with other experiences. And I know you had the bank experience. Right. I was a commercial lender for, I guess, about nine years before I came back to the farm. So that had to serve you very, very well. Oh, to prepare yes. You for this yes, role. yeah. I see that that prepared you really well for the role that you're carrying on right now, which is the financial role. Mm -hmm. But your operation is so much more than that. And I want to see you spread your wings and stretch yourself. <laughs> Those stretch goals are so important. Right. right. Jennifer, Angie, thank you. Next on Chalk Talk, I'll ask Dr. Fox to expand on the criteria for a good education and the building blocks for a career in agriculture. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Jennifer, we just talked to Angie about a business plan, a professional development plan, and a contingency plan. A lot of planning for a farmer to do right. out of their busy schedule. How do they do that? What does it involve? They're going to have to find the time. And, and in all farming operation, there is a, a, a slow period, if you will. Okay. I think Angie will need to talk with her dad and say, okay, you know, this is something in the next year that we're going to need to, to look, to carve out some time to be able to do this. You know, I, we, the succession plan is sort of the umbrella as I see mm -hmm. it. I see the business plan, the professional development for, for Angie, and the contingency plan as all parts of, I mean, spokes, if you will, from that umbrella. Right. And they're going to have, it's not something they have to do today or tomorrow, or even in the next month. Um, it's almost like the elephant in the room. They're going to have to chunk it down into pieces that they can work on, and that's why I think it, those three components, if they can set a goal to get that done in the next year or so, I think that they'll all feel more comfortable with where they're going with the sustainability of the operation. That they so have. is it a, a software program they need? Is it a class they need to learn how to plan? I think it's, it's, it's all of those things. It could be a software program that can help guide them, that can help give them the template. It could be uh, a professional consultant to, to help them figure out how to approach that. It's reading the trade journals. It's paying attention to what's going on in the news. It's, it's not just, I don't see it as one tool. I see many different um, sources of information. It may be t attending a class through the community college or at Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau is really big into helping uh, mm -hmm. farmers and ranchers with planning, and they hold continuing education classes and so on. I would encourage them. So if she were here right now, give me the first three steps. What are the three steps she would take? The to first do thing that? would be talking to her dad about this. Okay. Um, uh, communication about all three of these components is going to be the first thing that they need to do. Maybe they've already done that, although I think there are parts that probably has that have not been been brought up. Okay. And then um, actually setting goals of a time that they will set the time aside to begin the planning. It, okay. When we have goals, we set a deadline, then it gives us something to work towards. And I think that that would be an important thing for them to be. Okay, so talk ahead. to dad, get your partners involved. Right. She talked about her husband, so he's a, he's a decision maker right. or becoming a decision right. maker. Right. Then setting some goals just for the planning process, not goals for the operation yet, no, as oh, part no, of no. the process, just for the process, correct? Exactly. In the meantime, though, in the background, they've got goals for the, for the operation that they're going to have to take into consideration. I recognize that. But this is, this is going to have to be a focus for them. 
Yes. And they're going to have to spend the time doing it. Thank you, Jennifer.